All right. Day one. Now you're out with my boys at Mad Hunts down in Sonora. I had a really strenuous, like, 15-yard uh, hike to my blind this morning. See my boy Corbin over here. I hope he doesn't screw it up for me. But uh, we're looking good. This buck's been coming in every day between like 9 and 9, and 9 and 10, 30. Eight out of the last 10 days. So uh, all we gotta do is have him show up. There's some jerk off good of money that's been running them off every day, so I'm hoping we kill the buck and then I smash that good of money as well, because uh, why not? <laughs> It'd be fun. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited, day one. Let's see what happens. I got the new uh, tripod set up over here. Got the JC, the BP, the new GC gun clamp. Just rock solid. I mean, this thing's just ready to go. It's Oh, there's just some fingers right here. I mean, it's just, it's just ready. I'm so stoked. Like, you know, he's gonna show up. We're gonna kill this bug. It's gonna be cool. Let's do it. You know, like, everyone's always like, oh, DIY. Oh, you know, like, get out there and then, you know, bump the land. Like, high fence hunters. You know, like, this fence I'm hunting right now, it's only like four foot high. So it's like half fence, not even a high fence. This is a high fence. So, you know, like, it's like almost like hunting public land. Cause it's like not a full fence, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to be a high fence hunter, but if you're like a half fence hunter, like that's cool. As long as you kill a big deer, you don't gotta hike far. Like, I'm working hard for this thing. Yeah, you know, it's like, Everyone, will, like when you're doing like public land stuff, everyone's like, "What? What kind of powders are you running? What kind of drinks are you mixing? You got knobs? You know, you got Mountain Dove? What do you, what you got in there? You know, what? You know, you got some Celsius powder? What do you got?" And I'm like, "No, man. Like, when you're when you're blind, honey, like on a private ranch, like, bro, you just drink Gatorade. But it's Gatorade Zero, so like, it's healthy. You know, like I don't gotta mix. You don't gotta like." You want to get your wrist all tired, like shaking the water, get it, the, the powders up, like just gonna open it and drink it. It's like, dude, this is why Gatorade is awesome. All right, I've been uh, I've been hunting for bad hunts now for for about an hour. We haven't seen a damn thing, so uh, these guys kind of suck. I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of like I wonder if like if I get a refund. Like I've been here for literally an hour. And seen a single animal. Like, what the hell would I pay for? Come on. Deer all day. D-A-D, -D, dad. I want dad. Deer all day. Oh, let's go, bad hunts. Come on, step it up. People ask me all the time, like, how do you, how do you train for hunt like this? You know, it's, it's pretty difficult. So what I do, like, in my office, is I just never get out of my chair. So I actually just push it around and roll around in my chair. It's just, uh, you, know, you don't want to, you don't want to move your muscles at all. You want to really just sit on your butt and do nothing. It, it's, it's not for everybody. It's, it's hard training, you know, and sometimes like, it's harder to reach things up up high on the counter, but like, if you could like, make practice, like, oh, and you can get it, you know? So it's just, you know, these guys stay in the chair. These guys stay in, you know, some guys stay in the gym and train, but, when you're training like this, you just gotta stay in the chair all day. Chair, chair, chair. When you're tired, chair. When you wanna get up, chair. That's it. Chair, chair, chair. You know, like shooting these like really awesome $6,000 long range rifles. You know, I always have like my straight lock on my phone and you know, everything there's so, like, I can look up my dope and then I have to keep a card on here. It's like right now, we're shooting 65 yards. Crap, dude, I don't have 65 yards on here. What, the, what am I gonna do? I don't even have 65 yards on my chart. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll have to make it work.
Dude. 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 You did it. Dude. That's sick. Oh, oh. How do you feel? Dude, it's 9.03. I had we to said wait. 9 o'clock. We said 9 o'clock. I was getting a little bit impatient with you guys, but uh, okay, it took, okay. it took, to, me, it to took, be fair, it took he came in like right at nine o'clock. <laughs> oh, dude, so Corbin saw him over here in the bushes. He's like, there he is. I'm like, there he is. Yeah, I came in at nine and then he had to come in. I don't know. I'll tell you what, these guys at Mad Hunts have been uh, trying to kill this year for four years and they, they haven't been able to do it. They just, they're not good at hunting. Um, I know that they, they patterned them. They set the cameras up for me and they trimmed this thing out for me, set the blind up for me, but you know, like, it really just took me coming out here to kill him because I just needed someone to kill him. So you know what? Thank you so much, you guys. This is awesome, Matt Hunts. This is awesome. Oh, Tim, Cade, Corbin, Connor. Holy smokes, dude. Opening day, 9 a.m. I have a buck down, and now we're going freaking Kuna money hunting. <laughs> There he is, old Chubbs. What do you think? Dude, I'm just, uh, I can't believe it happened opening morning at 9 a.m. I mean, this buck has been patterned. I, I looked at the cameras last night, so from like the 31st of today, he's been here every morning between nine and 10, except for two days. And it was literally nine o'clock we saw him and 9.03 we shot him. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> We've been joking I'm gonna be done by nine, and uh, I'm seriously done by nine. I can't believe this buck is dead. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh man, I'm so happy. Thank you, uh, everybody at Mad Hunts. This is just so cool. So cool. He's a great buck. He's freaking beautiful. You know, Cade reached out to me a year ago and said, hey, we've got the best desert ranches in Sonora. Come out with us. And, uh, Everyone says that, but holy smokes. This place is like so well managed. They have all their own built drinkers. This, this freaking buck came in day one, 9 a.m. to a drinker they made, but no one else has water and snore, and we got this buck killed. And uh, man, I'm just so stoked to hunt with these guys. There's just, there's just animals everywhere down here, and just uh, what an awesome experience. I mean, from the food to the, 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 everything. It's just so cool being down here with you guys. Well, <laughs> chasing this coup of money for a week and finally got him down. Mm -hmm. <laughs>